Hi there, it's Jennifer McGuire and I've put together a very, very quick video for Simon Says Stamp that shows you how to use the Hero Arts frame cuts. Now the Hero Arts frame cuts are thin dies that go with some stamps that we have. The fun thing about this product is that you can buy the dies and the stamps separately and these dies will match up in many times with more than one stamp. So you can really get a lot of use out of them. Here's an example of what they look like. On the left is the packaging for the frame cuts. You can see the thin dies. And on the right are the stamps that go with it. And I'll show you more about how to match those up later on in this video. First, I wanted to show you how the frame cuts work. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this image. This is one that has a die that matches um, to it. I'm going to stamp this onto some cardstock here. Any kind of paper will work great for these. And I'm just going to do this really quick and easy. Now the really unique thing about the Hero Arts frame cuts and also the same dies that we, type of dies that we have with the Sizzix is that they are open in the center so you can stamp first and then line the die up at the outside of the stamped image. Now the cutting edge is on the very inside of the die which is unique to our dies. So when you lay this down you'll know exactly where it's going to cut. It's going to cut on the inside edge of that metal. And I'm just going to use a post-it note to hold it in place when I take it over to my die cut machine. I'm using my Big Shot. I like to use the Big Shot or the Vagabond. And this is the new plate they now sell and it comes with this solo shim. And it's a longer plate so you can use some of Tim Holtz's longer dies. But you're going to also need this one piece here, the Solo Thin Die Adapter. You can buy these as a bundle or separately at um, Simon Says Stamp. And you also need the two plates that come with, with them also. Now, if you already have plates that cut any of the thin dies that are already on the market, then you're set. You have what you need to be able to cut with these dies. But if you have um, this machine and don't have the, the adapter plates, these are the ones you'll need, and I'll link those for you also. So I've just put my paper and my die in between the two plates, the clear plates, and it just cuts right through. And you can see you'll get a perfect, perfect cut, and it's quick and easy. And you see the, the lining up was never an issue because I got to stamp first. So let me show you how these match up. Um, if you look here at the top, there's a sticker that says, their orange sticker, this, these two both say E, and that's the way you can figure out which stamps go with which dies. So there are A through K, and you wanna look for the stamp with the same letter as the frame cuts. And here's an example, um, B, which actually are the dies here at the top, and there's all the stamps that go with it. Now the frame cuts match up with stamps that are either wood, cling, or clear. It just depends, and each set is a little bit different. Now you can see that some of the little dies that come in the frame cut sets don't match some stamps. However, they're the perfect accents to the stamps and dies in the set. Now don't worry, I have a key for all A through K frame cuts and matching stamps on my blog, or you can visit simonsaysstamp.com or heroarts.com. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please visit my blog.